this morning. Right. Nice throw. Unrated at the beginning of the season. Nice Good one. Thank you. Colonel's hurt worse. Colonel's hurt worse. Gentlemen, the day we feared has arrived. The corn bubble has popped and our asses are on the line. I need ideas. What have you come up with, Johnson? It's Pootie Tang meets the hills. It's so time and time, she. I give you the corn cob pipe. Moronic. Roberts. Well, I've got one for the ladies. Corn facial cream. It has natural antioxidant properties. Beautiful skin, all natural ingredients, and... Tastes great, too. Ridiculous. You. Notice anything different about me today? Well, you do seem a little, uh, bulgier. Exactly. And I'll tell you why. Every man's dream, guys, okay? Male enhancement on a shoestring budget. Alright? I call it... The Cornagra. Huh? Oh, come on, take a look. This thing's gonna be huge. Put that thing away. Sit down. Come on. Come down to you, Al. You don't even want to hear it, man. Come on. Out with it. Okay, I keep coming back to the same old thing. I'm telling you. The, the corn gas idea. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, come on guys. Gas. Seriously, think about it. It's, it's, it's great. I mean, what do people care about nowadays? Erectile dysfunction? Bags under eyes. You think bigger. Less stupid. You know, like uh, Nobel Peace Prize, award-winning documentaries. Ring any bells here, folks? Hello, the environment. Global warming. Oil and gas. Fossil fuels. You burn them, you get CO2 emissions. That creates a greenhouse effect. That creates global warming. The polar ice caps are melting. Polar bears are drowning left and right. It's Armageddon, dude. Corn gas is the answer. Oh, corn gas. <laughs> We've been through this corn gas idea before. Didn't your team look into it last year, Roberts? What about your team, Jim? Yeah, we looked into corn gas last year. It, it's, it's a stupid idea, all right? Imagine the entire continental U.S. as one giant cornfield, okay? That's what it would take for corn gas to make any real difference in CO2 emissions. And let's not forget that we have to burn oil to make corn gas. I mean, hello, guys. Even offshore drilling is more tree huggery than that. Corn gas would jack up food prices. Soccer moms would be pissed. More no, expensive, no, more expensive, bad for the environment, and it only helps us and corn farmers. No, listen, nobody is gonna go for it. That's what it boils down to. Come on, guys, you're missing the point. It's not that it's good for the environment, it's that people think it's good for the environment, okay? I mean, there's some serious cash to be made. What's your game plan? We go to Congress, and we get them to pass some sort of uh, fuel standard, a mandate of sorts, to force oil companies to blend corn into their gasoline. Final score? And we all get rich. Rich. I like it. Yeah, but what would we call it? Corn gas sounds like a bowel movement. Well, God, we need something. Something scientific. Scientific, yeah, exactly. Oh, shoot. Ethanol. Ethanol, man. Perfect. Ethanol. Congratulations, gentlemen. We may have just saved our asses.